Hello and welcome back to our international viewers. It is time once again for our English edition. As usual, I'm Daniel Cook, your host, bringing you a translated version of the news Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. The Court of Arbitration for Sports in Switzerland has decided to grant the request submitted by the Albanian Football Federation in regard to an earlier UEFA ruling in the now famous Albania-Serbia match. The match on October 15, 2014 in Belgrade was associated with a number of incidents that were condemned by both sides. After the match, which could not be fully played out, the UEFA penalized both Albania and Serbia. The ruling was appealed, and the Court of Arbitration for Sports has announced their much-anticipated ruling today. They have awarded Albania three points for the suspended match against Serbia. The court awarded a 3-0 default win against Serbia for the match, which was a European Championship qualifier. In a telephone conversation for Ora News, the coach of the Albanian national team said that justice was finally done. He added that now his team needs to stay down to earth because they have a difficult challenge ahead, the match with Denmark on September 4th. The president of the Albanian Football Federation held a press conference today after the CAS ruling was announced, in which he confirmed the news that Albania has received three points. Mr. Armando Duca made the following statements. I am really excited about the decision, even though I expected it. The right side won in this issue, as did football. Justice was done. The important thing is that Albania was not held guilty in the match. The CAS did find us guilty on the issue of the drone, and we must take responsibility for that. However, the CAS found that there was no evidence that the AFF refused to play following an order by the referee, and this is the most important thing for us. Mr. Duca confirmed that the CAS ruling is final and said that according to the decision, the court costs will be paid by Serbia. He said, Serbian football was the winner in this ruling as well. Serbian fans have learned how to behave. The financial cost is insignificant compared to the satisfaction and the joy that this news brought to the Albanian fans. It is a decision that the worldwide opinion had reached before the CAS ever made it. So the Court of Arbitration for Sports certified a truth. This decision is a message that football should be separated from everything else that is not related to the football game. This is a message that everyone should hear, said Mr. Duka. The lawyer representing the Albanian Football Federation, Mr. Haidari, clarified that the CAS did award the three points to Albania, but did not revoke the 100,000 euro fine, the punishment for the drone in the Serbian stadium. Many of Albania's leaders have issued congratulatory messages after today's ruling by the CAS, which awarded three points to the Albanian national team. President Bujar Nishani published a photograph with the players of the team, together with this message. Congratulations to our football team, Go Albania. The Assembly Speaker, Ilir Meta, said, Today we had the same feeling as if we were in the stadium. The CAS ruling alleviates the pain that the injustice caused. Congratulations to the AFF, the coach, the team, and to all Albanians. On his personal Facebook page, Prime Minister Edi Rama writes, Great, this is the European justice. Three points for Albania. The Democratic Chairman, Luzim Basha, writes, the truth triumphed over injustice. Go Albania. Former Prime Minister Sali Berisha also wrote on his Facebook page that this was a fair decision for the right side, for our national team, and for all Albanians. The ruling was also applauded by the members of the parliamentary commissions. The murder of the Czech tourists was discussed last night on the Ora News program, The Unexposed. The program opened with an interview by the journalist Uli Rakipi with the Czech Council, who considers the murder to be a single and isolated event that will not have an adverse effect on the interests of Czech tourists in Albania. She said, We consider the murder to be an isolated incident, which might have happened anywhere. We are evaluating the security in that area. Many Czech tourists visit Albania because it is a beautiful country. The Albanians treat their visitors as their friends, and this is why Czech tourists come to Albania often. A bit later, the Interior Minister Saimir Tahiri was invited on the program to discuss the criminality in the country. He said that the judicial system has made poor decisions in some cases, leaving some criminals free, as in the case of the killer of the Czech tourists. 
Minister Tahiri said, I am concerned about the improper functioning of the judicial system, first as a regular citizen and then as an MP and a minister. We should not remember the judicial system only when cases like this arise. There have been many cases in which criminals have been set free after the bad decisions of the judges. The recent murder of the Czech tourists shows us that we have a big job to do. The killer was set free by the justice system and he committed another crime. Minister, Minister Tahiri commented on the justice reform as well. We are in the process of a reform that requires time, he said. The opinions of the citizens and the international partners should be considered. We are making a reform that will lay the foundations for the solutions of the problems. The quality of this reform is more important than the timeline of its release, said Minister Tahiri. When asked about the way that some politicians become rich, the minister declared that the reform will create confidence that the law is being uh, applied to everyone in the same way. The law should be equal for everyone, he said, so that the politicians do not become rich and the rich do not become politicians. The Democratic and Socialist parties are holding negotiations in order to find a common solution for the composition of the Justice Commission in order to achieve consensus in the justice reform. Ilir Mehta said today that the reform must be comprehensive and must include the opposition. This reform has already begun, he said. We are waiting for the opposition to become directly involved and to take responsibility. We hope this happens very soon because when justice is done, we all feel validated. This needs to happen not only in sports, like in the CAS decision, but in the everyday lives of our citizens. Sources from both parties confirm for Aura News that the negotiations will continue with the oversight of the international partners. According to our sources, the Democrats will ask for an equal representation in the commission, and the majority will ask that no veto rights are given to the opposition. The Assembly Speaker, Ilir Mehta, appears to be waiting for the results of the negotiations. I hope the work on the justice reform continues in an effective and comprehensive way, he said. The reform is not a matter of numbers, but a matter of standards. No one should try to block or delay the reform. The intention should be the realization of the highest European standards in the justice system, and it will be certified by our international partners, said Mr. Mehta. The Ministry of Internal Affairs organized a conference today entitled Religious Radicalism and Violent Extremism in Albania. Minister Tahiri said that the fight against religious radicalism is a primary priority of the Albanian government. He said that religious tolerance in Albania represents a key element of our nation and that the new municipalities will have a role in the fight against extremism. According to the minister, the government has prepared a clear strategy to prevent and eliminate religious extremism in our country. The U.S. Ambassador Donald Liu expressed his support for the initiative, praising the project of the Institute for Democracy and Mediation, or IDM, which is funded by the State Department. He said, we encourage the government to study the report by IDM and to use it in the preparation of Albania's action plan for countering violent extremism. We believe that the work of NGOs can and will make a difference in keeping our societies safe. The Minister of Social Welfare said that Albania is an example of religious coexistence and that radicalism has no place in our country. Minister Klosi said that support from the religious communities can help in the fight against extremism. The EU ambassador expressed the need for cooperation between all the regional countries in order to fight religious extremism. Ambassador Vlahutin highlighted the need for changes in legislation and cooperation between the state, the religious communities, the media, and the international partners. The head of the Muslim community stated that extremism is a threat to the society and that we should all join forces against it. Thank you so much for choosing Aura News as your source for English updates. Please join us again tomorrow at the same time. Have a great night.